Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse News video. We're going to be checking out two new offerings for their Dark Knight Trilogy line. You know, Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises. Those movies, you go back and kind of watch it. Now, I really do enjoy Batman Begins. I thought that that was a great movie, and I still think that that was a great movie. The other two, in continuing that storyline, number one, I never felt like it continued it how I would have wanted to see it continued. Like, it's okay. In the Dark Knight with the Joker, it's cool. It's got great scenes and whatnot. But then you, you go into the, the, the whole Dark Knight Rises, and it just it fell apart. So that kind of makes the second and third parts kind of eh. When the first one, as a standalone, if they never continue it, I'd be like, that's awesome. He's going after the Joker in the next one. We all know what's going to happen. It was just a great story after all. I enjoyed every aspect as being a, a different sort of take on Batman. I don't think it was until we got the Pattinson, the Batman, where that finally felt like Gotham City and Batman doing Batman detective skills. It still needs a little work, don't get me wrong, but the fun stuff exists in the Burton verse and the Schumacher verse, especially with Batman Forever. It's going to always be my favorite out of all of them because that was the most poignant one when I was growing up. I had the cups. I had the superhero sandwich. Didn't really care for the toys, though, mind you. I had Batman the Animated Series around that time, and that fit my needs just right. The movie is great. Absolutely love Batman Forever. And well, we have some things to talk about for that as well. But before we get started, as always, we'll have affiliate pre-order links down in the description below. Hey, thanks so much for using my links. It helps the channel to grow. Remember when I was talking about Batman Forever? Now, these were already revealed. We already saw these. WonderCon had these. But... Yeah, A Aesthetic One with his Supremo photography skills put this together. Please go and follow him on Instagram. As I always says, he does wonders for McFarlane Toys. Not just wonders, he puts these toys on the map. He presents them in a way where you're like, now that would probably be a figure I'd like to have. None of these just, yeah, it's a plain background. Here's the figure. Here's a really weird close up. None of that. A aesthetic one knows what he's doing with them photography skills and with Batman Forever recreating the VHS box, the poster in general. Heck yeah. Batman, Robin, Riddler, Two Face. The build a figure is the bats from the deleted scene. So it's kind of like a Tim Burton Schumacher kind of man bat situation. Kind of sort of. You can kind of think of that in that way. Go on YouTube, watch the deleted scenes. It's about Bruce Wayne becoming Batman. You'll get the idea, but it's a giant bat, and we'll see how it goes with articulation and all that kind of stuff. But that aside, yes, all of the four characters to build the bats. Perhaps we will see other characters later down the road. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Also revealed, we got to see the second wave of the new, new Batman adventures. Much like I call Batman the reanimated series, this one is the new, new Batman Adventures, continuing on from BTAS, and yeah, DC Collectibles already did these some years ago, but McFarlane Toys, XDC Direct, bringing them back for the second wave. Catwoman, Selina Kyle, Dick Grayson has grown up, now he is Nightwing. We have Bane, in a very <laughs> non, we'll say, Spanish wrestler kind of digs anymore. Now he's more so the Gimp from Pulp Fiction, kind of, sort of, in a way. He still had that great voice until later iterations like Mystery of the Batwoman and all that kind of stuff. But it's a good looking bait, right? We can all agree on that. And then the Joker minus the red smile. How could they leave the smile? I was actually a big fan of that back in the day. I like that they eschewed that. But as I've gotten older and I really did like the redesigns of TNBA, but to go back to Batman, the animators, you really can't beat Batman the Animated Series. It's just so dang good. And then into Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, how they further redesign the characters. There's different iterations, different eras, different designs. But TNBA, yes, it still holds a very nice place in my heart as far as old school cartoons, cartoons I grew up with, cartoons I loved. So more on TNBA. I'll have all the pretty fancy photos coming soon. They're not really giving away too much, but Joker at least will come with the hyenas. And most likely, I don't have the full details just yet, but most likely one of these characters 
will see a platinum variant. You can place your bets down in the description below. But you came here for some Dark Knight trilogy action, of course. So, from The Dark Knight Rises, Bane. We all remember that. <laughs> and how we could barely understand him. But yes, on Amazon. As an Amazon exclusive, we will get the camo Batmobile. It's not technically the Batmobile, even though it's the Tumblr vehicle. It's meant to jump across bridges and... This is kind of dumb. Before we even get started, let me be honest. Neither of these Batmobiles will I be ordering. It's not for me. Yes, I love the figures. They're great. We got them. We play with them. It's it's fun. It's awesome, right? I don't really care for the look of this Batmobile. Never have. Never will. It's just not a Batmobile for me. Is it cool in the movie? Yes. Is it growling and is it driving over rooftops and smashing everything in its path, including cop cars? Most definitely, but is it a Batmobile? It's a Batmobile in the Batman Begins universe, the Christopher Nolan universe. So in that sense, sure, if you want it, awesome. Amazon exclusive camo tech Batmobile with when Bane raids his arsenal, takes over Gotham, you get the idea. The nice thing about it is that it is a two-seater. A lot of people... When I went to WonderCon, I had said, yeah, it's a two-seater. And the people go, where do they say that? In the actual presentation. I just don't make stuff up. They say these things, and I report on it. But yes, the Camo Tech Batmobile kind of looks like something Kenner would make, to be honest with you. I mean, it has that cool nostalgia factor. I, in terms of how it all is, I can't necessarily immediately say that these are rubber tires but all four tires should spin the canopy opens you could put two characters in there you could put bane in there that it's the bane mobile essentially so you can have the bane mobile going up against the batmobile the box everything looks great again it's the camouflage tumbler it's pretty big it's going to take up some space in your collection just fyi but if you want it, I'll put the affiliate link down in the description below. But just in terms of the photo, yeah, it's 18 inches long. So, yeah, it's it's going to be a big, hefty, heavy Batmobile. But I'm sure the one that everyone's going to immediately want, if the Batman Begins, the Dark Knight Trilogy Batmobile, is your thing, then over on the McFarlane store, as a McFarlane store exclusive, you have the normal tumbler. <laughs> The one before it blows up and everything else. It does come in black, right? So the canopy opens, it's got all the whirly bobs and it's got all the contraptions and everything else that you would want for your Batman Begins Dark Knight Trilogy Batmobile. So it's going to be the same exact thing as the camouflage as it's going to be the same exact thing for the all black. So there's not going to be a whole heck of a lot of difference except for the fact uh, yes, it does come with an exclusive action figure in the form of Morgan Freeman, Lucius Fox. And I would say that that is a nice pack-in. That is something that, yes, if you truly want this Batmobile, then I wouldn't see Lucius Fox really selling all that well on his own, to be honest with you. I know a lot of people are saying, well, of course I want a Morgan Freeman figure. You know, I don't think you want it that much. Yes, I've always wanted a Shawshank Redemption display on my toy shelf. Get out of here. Nobody, Nobody's clamoring for a Morgan Freeman figure. But in the case of the Dark Knight trilogy, heck yes, Lucius Fox was a great character in that. I mean, he... You got all the tech for Bruce Wayne <laughs> and kept it a secret, too. Comes with a bunch of accessories. He'll have alternate hands. He also comes with a remote control, which, if memory serves me correct, it's the remote control for the canopy for the Batmobile. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And then you have all the bat gadgets in the equipment cache case. So... That looks cool. It doesn't look like anything is going to remove from that. It's all sculpted in. It's painted in. I have seen close-ups of this. You got the top to it, so you get to see all the bat gadgetry or the gadgetry for spelunking, right? Quote, unquote. But yes, nothing comes out. That would have been a nice touch to have removable everything or at least be able to take parts and pieces that you've gotten with prior Dark Knight trilogy figures and insert them in there. That would have been kind of cool. Lucius Fox himself, in terms of the likeness to Morgan Freeman, Lucius Fox is definitely dressed for the occasion. He's got the bow tie, the suit, the pants. He's ready to take over Rutger Hauer's job. It looks great. So he'll fit right at home in your Wayne Enterprises display on your toy shelf. Lucius Fox 
and the Tumblr, the Batmobile from Batman Begins and the Dark Knight Trilogy. So again, if you want this version, you can head over to the McFarlane store. It's an exclusive. The Camouflage Tumblr is, of course, an Amazon exclusive. So that will wrap it up for my look at two of the brand new Batmobile offerings from McFarlane Toys. A lot of stuff coming. A lot of stuff on pre-order, that's for sure. And it's not just McFarlane, it's across the board. More and more stuff added every single day. My question to you at home is if you're not a fan, like myself, if you're not a fan of this version of the Batmobile, the Tumblr, which Batmobile do you want to see McFarlane tackle next? Now, in my case, because they're doing Batman Forever, I would love to see the Batman Forever Batmobile. I think that that would be kind of cool. Have that come with an exclusive figure. That would be even cooler, right? We'll see what happens. But ease up on the Batmobiles and all the vehicles. We always have said, oh, more, more this, more vehicles. It's starting to add up. I just got the Lobo cycle. That in and of itself is giant. So let's, let's pump the brakes on the Batmobiles. We don't need to go too crazy. A Batmobile a year. That would be Ideal. But you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything the Dark Knight trilogy. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, all this Tumblr nonsense aside, cannot wait for the Batman Forever figures. That is going to be awesome. And when they are, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.